Well, before we start our program, I'd just like to inform you that uh, the proceeds we raised before and we raised tonight, 100% will go toward mayor re-election campaign. And there's a reason why we are able to do that, and this place is one example. Uh, the owner, Mr. Proust, is very kind enough to support us. Uh, since the day that we put our plan together, that was a bit more than a month ago. Uh, and also, all of you who really, really made a big, big difference in regard to many things. Uh, one particular that I want to share with you before we even start our program is that because of you, that what made all these community leaders, especially, especially myself, who do what we do and continue to do what we do each and every day. And with that, I personally want to thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's start our program at the moment, ladies and gentlemen, to lead our Pledge of Allegiance. I have the great honor to invite my young friend, Mr. Robin Lim. Come forward. May I invite all of you to please rise as we pledge our allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Now, tonight, there is a special night. I have a great privilege to work with this young man, and the young man known for his specialty, and that specialty is rapping. So tonight, here to perform his special performance, ladies and gentlemen, put your hand together and help you welcome Pride. He just wanted me to call him Pratt, that's it. I know you guys hate rap music. It's okay. I got this. Today we're going to move some awkward and chill now. Um, it's a privilege for all of you guys to be here. So, thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. For, um, it was on our Cowboy New Year Parade, I was holding a, a Mexican flag, and everyone was like, you're not Mexican? I was like, I am, what are you talking about? <laughs> but anyways, um, Yek chun chen ta mui ta yeng wai khne thơ s a, saan se chan ka long a, ta meng ka sa khne a, Chư chục trăm ta bao quá toàn chê Sa trơ nở lỡ hay rô nở kiến khá nê Ất mai ớt ơ quê ta nê con cà prê Nê khá kì ta nê mê lê bàn chên Chlông tự chlông đây chân nằm đôi mà xe mênh Nê khá khóc chú bạp kê chạc đạc cục bình Chọc rọt chân nằm Tê ngay kê bê chân kê bê chú nở bật đênh tơ sổ cà nà quênh Ất sập hơn ở lâu ở vốt chọc đây Có họ nuôi phòn chọn khá nê ở miền nây Wai bang ngay sau lạc đôi chi vượt ông mê tầm lây Khlạc ngọt tai hào ngọt ngọt luôn gần đá thật ngay Thật là quay Vượt bên bà nhà hà chung vui mà hô bà hà Sgôm hêu chết sạc Ngọt bì phong để đợt nó mong luộc xa ba dân lùi cả Tự chết ổ trây đầy đám chơ kì cả Thơ khá đá bà chú mà nụ bà chi chôn chốc chắc Thơ đạc đại khám đạc Khơi anh con xây Từ ngôn xông tên Con sơ hình chọc xa la đồ cả thơ ớt mên Wat jeng pichi pichai jamai ke bon ban ba 
cả lại cả nay là bài khổ mà hai chị lại làm bát cái đằng này bàn tay kê chọn lơ là mơ chụp bát đồ của nhiên thơ nằm men đồ của lưng yêu trọc sầm bát bây ông đi mô ta sắc và đau đai bàn tay ông men đã kê sạp ấy cái đằng thà nhóm chị nên sài hà chê đai bàn kê là hên chui ấy một bình bình mà khổ lô men phong bốc ở lùi khổ luôn mẹ bích bàn là khu khá bà lăng ở lùi trong sáng đâu ông ta bây giờ ông ai xong chui con chào phong Dân từ một mạch bán rừng bố ra là toàn chọc hồn Phật lọt ta cầm là một xa lạ ca mất vào cái mình vô chạc chôn Bởi giác bát luôn khá áo chém xa ông Ôi ta khá nhóm mê ta hạ ông Khá nhóm mê phê nạ ca Tên tê ta đa ông xa đây xa phê bôi bầu phá Khá nhóm bát Ta mà nê ai nhớ bác bó đó khá rùa xa Khá nhóm đăng tha Bê khá nhóm dê ní khá rùa thả nạ đó chỉ huyết Bên tay, bởi khá nhóm ọt một dê, khá nhóm xa lạc và lâu tự bật bởi đây quên mình chết Beyond the killing fields, four decades after the genocide, after two million people murdered, another five million survived, the fabric of our cultural beauty drips the texture, I find myself in Long Beach, the new Cambodia Mecca. Besides, Throck Khmer, Well Sri and Khor Wat, some people still struggling on the aftermath of Pol Pot. For some future so bright look like high beams For others so lost in the American dream For me it seems I'm on the road to nowhere fast Hitting speed bumps, driving in circle vehicles Running out of gas And there's a gap in our generation Between the adults and kids But since I'm bilingual I'ma use communication as a bridge First I'ma knock down those walls Between me and my parents Listen to their story and all without interference What they experience is evil at its darkest form Their heart, bodies, and souls shatter and torn The trauma of the war affect the refugees and forward non-suffering from deep depression Post-traumatic stress disorder It's a new world order, new threats that we're facing From terrorists and INS deportation You can try to fight it, go ahead, be my guest Because it's one strike and you're out of the U.S. And there's an epidemic that's killing us surely Even things we don't even own, like blocks and territory. So-called OGs, recruiting young ones, jumping them in gangs, giving them used guns, not even old enough to speak, already holding heat. They walk in a dangerous route, talking about code of the streets. I've been asleep snoring, not awakened from my nap. My brain's been storming, so I put on my thinking cap. I'm digging deep into my mind, sometimes I find it hard to hack. But I'm a messenger this time, delivering you these artifacts. Fast tracks, racist love calls, they're spending every dollars and cents. They're getting it all fixed up, mixed up in bad investment. But that's the choice to choose. Some parents are still confused. The difference between discipline and child abuse. I used to get hit and whipped with wires and the ball. It used to be a family matter until the law got involved. For boys hanging out, that's okay, unlimited minutes. For girls, what you talking about? That's prohibited. Some are scared of it, pushing them to the edge. Some parents still believe in fixing up marriages. I inherited all of this, the knowledge of the fact. Being a Khmer that I am, I feel the weight on my back. Man, look what we're building over here in Long Beach, a Cambodia town down and a high street. The seed has been planted, foundation has been laid. All it takes a little time and help from our mayor, Robert Garcia, and D'Andrew, and voila, he'll be great. All right. I was raised not to be racist, so ju my judgment is color blindfold. To judge ones for their action and keep their mind frame on hold. We're gonna stick together like cooked rice in a bowl. Open up stores, product, merchandise sold. Business fuels the agencies, chambers of commerce, teachers, doctors, to law, y'all, we're even running for offices. And there's hopes in the kids, they're learning faster than we did. Traditional dances to classical music. Old method is still used, you get sick, you get coined. Fuck <laughs> y'all. A Cambodia Town Film Festival in September, everybody come and join. I am proud to say I am the Khmer with pride because I, Pratch, refuse to let our culture die. Thank you. I'm good.
<laughs> well, don't let that rap fool you, ladies and gentlemen. This young man is a very, very successful young man today. He's in the film industry and he's the gentleman who brought that film festival to our Cambodia town. So join me, give him another round of applause. Good evening, Honorable Mayor, distinguished guests, friends, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Charles Song, your event coordinator. On behalf of my fellow committee members, it is my profound gratitude to welcome all of you to Mayor Robert Garcia 2018 re-election fundraising campaign. Thank you. As we all gather here this evening to support Honorable Mayor Robert Garcia re-election campaign, many of you wonder and really have no idea of why we have decided to prepare this fundraising tonight. What brought you here has a lot to do with what happened back in 2014. So please allow me to explain you all so that you can better understand. It was then when Vice Mayor Dr. Robert Garcia ran for the mayors for this great city of Long Beach back in 2014. He was a candidate who seem to have an immense interest of reaching out to a minority groups, including our Cambodian, Cambodian-American community. He has a vision of building a strong community and make this city the best and friendly city for everyone to enjoy living in. He was the only candidate who stood tall and promised us that he will help to bring the Midtown, Mid Midtown Business Improvement District to the central area and the infrastructure to beautify Anaheim Corridor, known as Cambodia Town Corridor, should he win the election. We knew then that we need, what we need is a change. So we decided to come together and join his campaign by volunteering ourselves along with other friends from other communities to canvassing neighbor doors to doors, handed out windows and lawn signs to residents and businesses, went to make a phone calls and wrote our own supported letter encouraging our Cambodian American friends to cast their vote to support him. I truly applaud and salute those friends who dedicate and sacrifice countless hours of their times. They have pledged their full support mentally, physically, and financially toward his campaign, knowing if he wins, we may have a chance. I am so proud to have an opportunity to work with many extraordinary friends at that time. Some of them are extremely excited to be here to support you this evening, Mr. Mayor. Unfortunately, Mr. Srivot Prak, who couldn't be here with us to honor you, because his ailing father had just recently been admitted to ICU at St. Mary Hospital. I'd like to invite you that you please keep your thought and your prayers for him and his beloved father. Dr. Robert Garcia went on to win his election on June 3rd, 2014 and has become the youngest person in the history of this great city to ever 
serve the post as a mayor. Congratulations. <laughs> to keep his promise and to honor our Cambodian American community, specifically those brave men and women who gave everything that they had to support his campaign, he selected the first Cambodian American to serve on his transition team, and he had appointed six members from our community to the commission at one time during his sworn in ceremony. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I am humbly honored to have an opportunity to serve on your transition team with many highly educated and well-established individuals to represent my community. Again, I thank you, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> the following years, the Midtown bid was successful, passed in 2015. It's fully operated today. And the infrastructure to beautify the Cambodia Town Corridor will soon be here, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable Mayor, you achieved what you have accomplished and you have broken a barrier by extending your service to other neighbors. We're in need of a development rather than just focusing in a downtown and other growing areas. You have made the right choice by investing in the central area, specifically the Anaheim Corridor, specifically the Cambodia Town. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, you have not only kept your promise, you have made history in doing so. We would want you to know you have a strong ally in the Cambodian and Cambodian American community. What present here in this room and with the amounts of monies that have been raised are a clear indication that this community loves you and always support you, Mr. Mayor. My fellow friends and ladies and gentlemen, these are the reasons of why we are gathering here this, in this beautiful restaurant this evening. I can assure you, all of you, that your hard-earned money is well worth spending. Is well worth spending knowing the future of our Cambodia town and our community are going to be bright and local businesses are going to be vibrant and prosperous. Your support will benefit our entire Cambodian, Cambodian American community. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to welcome Mr. Mayor? Ladies and gentlemen, please join me. Give a big hand for Mr. Mayor Robert Garcia. Well, thank you. That was that was a very, uh, very touching and very uh, special introduction. So I just want to thank you, Charles. Thank you so much for organizing, leading the committee. I know a lot of people, uh, members of the committee were all involved, but I just want to thank all of you for just the warm welcome and a lot of love in the room, so thank you for that. I, I want to, a few, a few introductions. I want to start, Councilman Andrews is here, and I want to thank you, Dean, uh, for being here and for being my seatmate on the council. So Dean and I sit next to each other and we, we talk a lot uh, about how everyone else talks too much. Um, <laughs> But thank you, Dee, for, uh, for being here. I want to thank my mother. So I think, you know, one thing that's interesting about the Cambodians, just like Peruvians, is our moms and our families are everything, right? Yeah. Our families are so important. Our mothers are so important. 
in our community, um, you know, we, we know that for our community, for the Cambodian community, uh, honoring our mothers always is so important, it's vital to who we are, and so thank you, Mom, for everything you've done and for, for being here uh, tonight. And I want to also thank, I want to thank, I think my staff is here somewhere, they're in the back there, okay. Uh, I want to thank some of my staff who's here tonight. Uh, I think my chief of staff, Mark Taylor, I don't have glasses on, I think he's back there. And uh, I think I see Tim Patton back there. And I'm not sure if I'm missing anybody else, but thank you guys for, for being here. So I just want to say a, a few things. Um, first is, I've been mayor for three years. It seems like just yesterday that we were all in my campaign office making phone calls. Um, but it's been three years, and it's been a great three years. And the election is a year away, uh, but we're getting started early, just to make sure there's no competition this time, like, like there was last time. And, and that's why I want to thank you, because your support this early is very helpful to the campaign. I can't tell you that every single dollar that's raised adds to the momentum and the strength of the campaign, and so that people know that this campaign going into the end of the year is big and strong and really well supported with so much of the community, which is why these events are really, really important and why I really appreciate your support tonight. It's very important to me and I wanna thank you for, uh, for your support tonight. I also just wanna say that I'm very excited about what we're going and what we've done together. Uh, I think some of that was just mentioned, of course, some of the things we've worked on, but I wanna share Things, there's two or three things that I'm really proud of, which I think we all um, are a part of. The first is getting our bid, our Midtown bid done, was a huge deal for the community and for the city of Long Beach. A huge deal for, for us. And I know the community has already noticed the difference and what a bid could actually do for businesses and cleanliness and organization of the businesses. And so I'm really proud that the city also stepped in and worked with our organizations like Long Beach Transit and some of the large property owners to ensure that we would have a strong business improvement district in Cambodia Town. That was very, very important to us and we went all in and worked very hard to ensure that we would get the votes needed to get that passed. And so now we have a bid and that's been, I think, great for, for the community. But the other piece of that is something we're working on right now. And I personally believe that this will be, if not the most exciting, one of the most exciting things ever to happen to Cambodia Town is, we, is that we are redoing the entire length of, Can of Anaheim in Cambodia Town. It's gonna be entirely redone with new streets, new median, sidewalk improvements, bulb out improvements, landscaping and so in a matter of in the next this next year coming up we are continuing the planning process to reconstruct all of Anaheim so right now when you go drive down like Bixby Knolls and you're like wow the street looks so nice that median looks so nice with all the trees in the middle pretty soon Cambodia town is gonna have all of that and so we set aside a lot of money millions and millions of dollars the, pro the project is caught the, just the, po the portion in Cambodia town, I think is costing us three or four million dollars that we are putting in as a city because we really believe it's important to redo the entire section. And so what will happen is we already had our, who was at our first meeting? Some of you were at our very first meeting that we had, uh, maybe a month or two ago. And uh, we had that meeting and we'll be having a few more meetings over the course of the next few months to ensure that we build the right thing. We want the community to be involved in what kind of trees do we want to plant? What do we want some of the signage to look like? Uh, where do we, we're gonna add some street lights so that it's a little safer. We're gonna add some crossing walks and other opportunities. And so uh, we expect that at the end of next year, the major construction will start. And so, we, so when we're going to the end of 2018 of next year into the following year, this is going to be a new opportunity and a real rebirth for Cambodia Town. So I know that all of you, uh, in just a year and a half, within a year from now, we're going to be getting ready to start this massive project. 
It's a lot of engineering. It's going to go through a lot of environmental review, but I'm really excited. And I hope you guys are excited too. It's a long time coming for this project, and it's going to change Cambodia Town a lot. So very exciting. I also just wanted to mention, this is not in Cambodia Town, but it's next to Cambodia Town. So I want to make sure you know, we're also redoing all of PCH. So just like we're redoing, just like we're redoing Anaheim, we're going to pay all of PCH. Now, because that is not a median project, so we're not putting in the middle strip with trees and all of that, uh, that's going to be done a little faster. So that should be that's just a regular repay. I think that gets done to the at the end of this year or middle of uh, middle of next year. Um, however, the great thing about that is. For Cambodia Town, it's still very close. A lot of the community lives between Anaheim and, and PCH, and so PCH will also look a lot better. But it won't look as good as Anaheim, because Anaheim is getting the trees in the middle of the street. So that's going to be the best part. And I've mentioned to some of you, I want you guys to help them, help us. If we can find landscaping that gives Cambodia Town a personality, or trees that you feel would be more appropriate, that would really make it feel like more of a community, we want to we want to add those those trees. And so. We're very excited. Uh, those projects are, are on their way. And then the other thing I'll say is that we know there's still a lot of challenges in the community. And I want to tell you that I respect all of you so much because your community has been through so much. And what you've all been through and what your families have all been through and the trauma and the genocide, the uh, not having access to the same level of services or jobs or opportunities is something that um, for all of us really breaks your heart. And I'm an immigrant, it's very different of course than being a refugee, and that experience I think is, e is even way more traumatic than even immigrants experience. Um, but I, I do share some of that struggle, right? You do know, I do. We, our family knows what it's like to come to a country with very little money, having no support and just hoping uh, this country would help us and to try to live the American dream. And so I just want to tell you that we support you. I support you. Uh, we look forward to doing this project. We look forward to fixing and even making more improvements to the street, getting more Cambodian Americans involved in the city and in the community, having more opportunities in our schools, have, continuing to lower the unemployment rate, making the streets of the city even safer than they are today. And I just want to thank you for your support today, your support always. I am, please, you know, I, I am your guys' champion and your supporter, and I always will be. Just let me know how I can help. So thank you for having me and for enjoying the good food. I had my list to things, but uh, Mr. Mayor had covered pretty much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the second part is nothing more but taking a moment to thank each and every one character, I mean, step by step. I don't want to miss anybody. So first, I'd like to start off by thanking my beautiful wife for allowing me the opportunity for these many years to do what I do best in my community. Thank you, honey, thank you. <laughs> Event like this may look easy to prepare, but that's not the case. It requires dedication, commitment, time, more importantly, money. It takes leadership and a full pledge of collaborative efforts from committee members, as well as our donors. Many of you are here, are brave enough to stay on the committee, and that I am very proud of you, and you should take great pride and proud of yourself because you have done such an amazing job. We hit the right target despite some challenges along the way. Some of you are the finest group of friends I have the honor to work with, and you know who you are. Ladies and gentlemen, may I ask that you please join me to give uh, my thank, your thank, 
to all of my committee members, please. Thank you. Besides taking a lead role, I have the great honor to in charge of a finance committee. It was with this committee where I had an opportunity to work with three very fine individuals. Our job is to raise funds through our Cambodian business owners door to doors. Although two of them couldn't be here with us, it is my responsibility to acknowledge them and these are the elite and the best of the best in raising funds through our local business friend. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me. Give the two who couldn't be here They're in Cambodia right now. And that is my elder, Danny Wong and Tommy Nu. <laughs> and lastly, it's a privilege to also thank the gentleman who walked along with me and the other two, and that is Mr. Jim Suess. <laughs> to our platinum sponsors, we are, we are very proud and honored to have your strong support. You have always stepped to the plate whenever we need you, and you are the reason of why we continue to do what we do to serve this community. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your trust in our leaderships. Ladies and gentlemen, they all sit right in this very table and these two fine ladies sit next to Mr. Mr. Mayor, which I will introduce to, uh, them to you later on in the program. Please give our platinum sponsor the biggest round of your applause. My fellow business friends who support this campaign, we know it is difficult for you to spare your hard-earned money, but you never say no when we come to you. You have not only signed your check or give us the money, you look us in the eyes and appreciate us for continuing to serve this community that we love. You are a major part of every progress that we're trying to make. Many of you couldn't be here to witness what is taking place in this room. And we thank you for your support and words of encouragement. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me. Give this business owner a very, very big hand. <laughs> to our audience, you are what this is all about. I always say there won't be a show without our audience. You have spared your invaluable times on a Friday evening to join us, knowing that it would be, it would take your time away from spending with your family to enjoy, and you will also need to spend some money to support our mayor. We congratulate you. We thank you for being here. You may give yourself a very, very big round of applause. Our committee, our committee truly want to thank Camille Kell Campos, librarian of the Franklin Roosevelt Library in Los Angeles, Dr. Melanie and Bong Chan Hobson for providing us with these beautiful centerpiece. Please give this fine lady a very big hand. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me to give my young friend Robin Lim, the gentleman who take your picture, a very big hand. 
And the gentleman who are responsible for bringing this event straight to his audience who are watching his Khmer TV at home. We are fortunate to have him at most of the community events, taping it live for us. Your TV station has been an instrumental in providing community activity to those folk who live in part of Southern California. We thank you always. Ladies and gentlemen, please give the director of Khmer TV, Mr. Tony Lai and his staff. Thank you. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to invite all of you to join me in giving our appreciation and heartfelt thanks to the owner of this beautiful Lalun Thmai restaurant for his kindness by sponsoring foods and this beautiful place for us to use this evening. His countless support speaks volume. With our gratitude, ladies and gentlemen, please give our warm hospitality to the owner of La Lundmai, Mr. Proust. Thank you. My fellow friends, you and I know our strength, our ability to get the job done. So let us come and work together to help build our beautiful community a better, safer place for our children to live. Until next time, may God bless our mayor, may God bless his beautiful mom, may God bless Honorable D. Andrew, 6th District Councilman, and may God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you for coming. If you don't mind, Honorable Mayor, Mayor, I'd like to invite all the committee members to come forward, line up over here, so we could have a group picture with Honorable Mayor. So starting with Madame Chan Hobson, would you come forward? Steve Main, Peter Kong, Mr. Kui Kim Thai, Tony Lim, is that Robin Lim, Dr. Tan, Miss Sarah Pollen, Bon Kim Soos, you know who you are, come on. Yeah, I can't remember you all, so please step forward. Come on, this time. Yes. Don't move yet, don't move yet. Now, we'd like to invite uh, Honorable Councilman to the end to come forward. Okay. Wow.